Hey guys, NCS Fan 001 here, rocking the road to my 384th Platinum Trophy. Today's game is The Long Reach. This is the EU version of it. I believe it's three total versions. It might actually be four versions now, I'm not 100% sure. So, I did the North American version of this game a long time ago. This is a really just weird game. I don't really know what the best description of it. It's just a weird game. I don't really... Again, I don't really have much words to describe it because it's just a really, really odd game. Like, it's hard to describe. It's just... I guess it's supposed to be a little bit survival horror. I just... It's one of those games where you just don't really know what the heck you just played. The good thing about it, though, is it is a very easy platinum trophy. It takes about, you can do it in one to two hours is going to be for most people. This time around, I think it looks, yeah, it looks like I did it in about, was that my first trophy? Seven something? Yeah, it was. So I did it in an hour and 14 minutes. So you could probably do it even a little bit faster than that if you really know what you're doing and don't end up dying at all if you get good RNG with the random enemies. Because, like, at a few points during the game, you have to, like, dodge random enemies that are going through the hallways, and you have to sort of get your way around them. It's not hard, and if you die, it doesn't really cost you any progress, but that can slow you down a little bit if you were, like, trying to do, like, a speedrun or something of the game. That can be what costs you a little bit. So all these trophies are... Let's see, that one, that one... Actually, I don't... That one's not story related. This is like a little side thing you can do, but I don't think you actually have to do it. It's just like opening up an extra safe, so you don't actually have to do this one. But you have to do everything else here up until this trophy. These two trophies are both related to the ending. You either step away or kill this guy. The good thing is if you hit continue from the main menu once you have completed the game, you will spawn right at the start of this last section, so you only have to replay a couple minutes to get your last trophy. So thankfully, nothing difficult there at all. So it's basically just complete the game and then reload that final save to get these two trophies and then that one other, the office side quest thing. That's It's really easy, but you do just, as long as you're following a guide, that is, all this stuff is very easy. It's a very easy game overall as long as you follow a guide and you get relatively good luck with the RNG, with the characters. It's a little bit randomized. Uh, the gun, I don't really think this, if I remember correctly, even has even really has anything to do with the game i'm not even i don't even think it's like a story related thing but it's in the final sort of area of the game you just have to pick it up off a guy that shoots himself and then finally you have two collectible trophies drinking from all the water coolers and reading every email on the computers as long as you're following a guide this shouldn't be a problem uh but just keep these in mind throughout the game and just if you ever do die make sure to go to like the most recent one if you were near one or something just to be safe to make sure it counts. But thankfully the game is pretty short, so it's not that big a deal if you have to replay it. So with that, and sync up the trophies again, just in case it doesn't want to count. With that, level 67, 14%, 16,618 total trophies, 384 platinums, 2,180 golds, 4,222 silvers, 9,832 bronzes. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you for the next one.